in Korea. Crazy boy, you do live up to your name, but... So, first need to qualify, but you're already qualified for next year's um, league, basically, with the 2022 season. So, hey, what do we have to expect out of Cyclops? Because you guys had some pretty good moments this year, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster as I hear. I mean, uh, Apex, uh, I, yeah, well, stage one was was a weird one. Uh, we wanted and we were hoping for that first place, but we didn't achieve it. Then it happened what it happened in, in stage two. And, and stage three was like, I don't know, uh, after the match against uh, Fab uh, of mm -hmm. some weeks ago, it looked like, okay, it's done. We, we playoffs are impossible. Uh, but for real, it happened a miracle, so, so many stuff. And I'm thinking right now to all the things that happened during this year, it's been amazing. And this is the end of the stage. So what what, what do we expect of T1 in the future to you know fight back through into APAC once more? So with new members, such as Arukaze, Arukaze uh, they expected a win, but um, despite this performance, they still think they showed a lot of potential with these new members. So next year, they're planning to go through uh, all the stages until Invitational. I think that's going to be the vibe through Fnatic as we kind of move on to 2022. It's crazy to say, man. We, It's been so long. <laughs> The past year and a half just never existed in our brains, and now we're in 2022 pretty much. So what is there to expect in the next stage, in the next season? What will Fnatic do? Will it finally be Japan time for Fnatic? It's, there's so many questions still unanswered. Look, we're still in the process of finding out what 2022 will be like. We've referred recently to Japan as Narnia, you know, magical place. <laughs> will we get it there? Will magical. we not? Um, but look, it is look. It's looking good, looking better every day. And all we want to be is back on top in APAC, attending these international tournaments, and upsetting every team we play against. So that's definitely what we want to do next year. It's been a year. You said tumultuous, hybrid in many ways. So anything you want to say to these Cyclops fans out there that are, you know, awaiting and hoping and praying that things will get even better than what they are today for Sweden and for 2022. Yeah, first of all, on my behalf, on the behalf of all the team of Fuji, the players, etc., we're really sorry because uh, we, let's say, spoiled ourselves and yourself with the results that uh, we had in, in, stage, in stage two. And not gonna lie, we, we got a bit cocky, uh, something that should not happen. And this stage, uh, I think, is gonna be something that will carry, uh, will make us realize how how we need to go um, from now on, basically. Never underestimate anybody and be always uh, confident in ourselves because, yeah, uh, confidence is something that can make you rise so much, but can make you fall so much as well.